Hello, in this video, I will be starting the jump scares code. This will just have the player rotating to the front while disabling inputs and making sure only jump scare gets played. I have other videos being uploaded that will deal with the actual jump scare methods. Method 1 using an animated render that gets played, for this I use a green screen video. Method 2 is a 3D mesh that gets spawned in front of the player and plays an animation. Anyway, let's start. Open up your animatronic class. In here, find your old jump scare event. If you don't have one, I will be recreating it anyway. So I delete old code. Right click and search for add custom event. Call it jump scare event. We need the get player pawn. We also need get player controller. From the pawn, drag it out and search for disable input. Connect the controller to the input too. Next we want to remove all widgets. We want to just have a blank screen. I will add a delay node too which is optional. This will be 0.5 seconds. Also as a just in case, I add another remove all widgets. Get another get player pawn. Cast to your player blueprint. We need to get access to your camera. This is so we can set world rotation. I keep it at zero value. I will also go to the start of the event and add a do once. This is temporary. Later I add a variable managed by the game mode to make sure jump scares only once. Now, we need to call this jump scare event. Go to your animatronic AI controllers. If you already created one, you might have already called it in one of the old tutorials. I have errors since I recreated the function for this tutorial. Find your check jump scare function. It just has conditions for if a jump scare should happen. I then find my old jump scare event and I replace it with the new one. I right click it and click refresh. You can also just delete the node and search for it again. Now let's just quickly go back to the master animatronic class. On your event begin play, you want to add a slight delay and call your jump scare event. This is for testing so we can see the current code working for now. Also we need to make one change, go to your jump scare event and if you put set relative rotation, change it to set world rotation. Now test the game to see if your camera rotates to the right direction and continue adjusting your value until it does. If it works, I am going to add some final touches to this event. First, after your delay, I will add a set actor hidden. Tick it to true as we don't want this animatronic to be shown while there is a jump scare. Next, we are going to replace this do once with a working system. Delete the do once. Add a branch and you want to connect the false to the code. Next the condition, get your game mode as that is what we will be using. Cast to the right game mode and now we need to make the variable in the class. Go to your game mode, I can easily just use the world settings to get to the game mode. Once it is opened, add a boolean variable called is jump scare active. Now compile and save. Now go back to your animatronic class. Check if you can get your jump scare variable. Now this isn't a good way, we don't want to always cast when this event is called. We can copy the cast to game mode and put it at the event begin play. I deleted the test code and just placed the cast to my game mode. Then I dragged from the return value and promoted it to variable. Call it game mode reference. Now compile and save. You might get an error but we can ignore it for now. Go back to your branch condition. Drag and get your game mode reference. Drag from the reference and get your is jump scare active and connect to the branch. Now to make sure this event is not called again. Get your game mode reference and do a set is jump scare active and set it to true. Make sure the set is connected to both sides. Clean up code and compile. Now you can test it. Hope you enjoyed this video but it's not over as you can do the other two tutorials which are the visual jump scares. I made them separate to make it easier for you to learn two different methods as shown earlier in this video. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial and see you next time.